So the other element of this, when you get to the red planet, I just leaving a couple things for you to think about. You're going to be standing there and most of us talked about, or it'll get mentioned, you know, sunrise being something you really engage in or sunset, how we seek them out, you know, either opening the day or closing the day. It's really something that kind of bookmarks our, our experience on, in any 24 hour cycle, but this will be your view from earth, from Mars. And that is earth, that dot. And when you talk about feeling small in a good way, I think you're going to really have to, to connect with how that happens to you standing on Mars, because everything you know, love, all of your safety is incredibly far away. But the magnitude of the event that occurred that got you there uh, is probably what you're going to really use to say, now I have to go to work because now I got to make this matter and I got to make sure that we're using this to it, it to its utmost potential and, and every bit we contribute will we'll either help us establish a colony here if that's what's necessary, but really the necessity of building and designing for space in the exoplanet and living off the grid will allow those people who are back there to have a higher quality of life. So in the end, an amazing picture, and, and again, this is not a courage, this is, this is prospective from the surface of the moon when, um, when we land again in the next few years, and it's just a stunning opportunity just to envision the fact that people will be there living and working. They will be of diverse backgrounds and descent. Um, and everything I do technically is really to allow her to have what she needs on this day to be successful and return to Earth as much as she possibly can for us to live better and to enjoy the embarrassment of riches we actually have on this planet that that maybe without stopping to take that moment of all we take for granted.